Hi mga kawaw man! In this video, we will define and describe the union and intersection of sets. We will also illustrate the difference of two sets and the complement of a set. Also, we will use Venn diagram to represent op set operations. So first, we have the intersection of sets. When we say intersection of sets, the intersection of sets A and B, written as A intersection B, take note of our symbol, it looks like inverted U. This is the set containing the elements that are in both A and B. So, pag sinabi natin intersection of sets, ito yung Titingnan natin kung ano yung mga elements na na kay A at na kay B. In other words, pag sinabi nating intersection, meron silang common elements. Halimbawa, in set A, I have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. In set B, I have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. So, Ano ang common elements nila? Pareho silang may 3, 5, and 7. So, therefore, the intersection of set A and B is equal to 3, 5, and 7. So, again, pag sinabi natin intersection, common elements. Now, we may also show and represent the intersection of sets using Venn diagram. Paano to? So, in set A, meron tayong 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. In set B, meron tayong 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. When we are using Venn diagram, ang una nating laging ilalagay ay kung ano yung common elements nila o yung tinatawag nating intersection. So, ano nga ulit ang intersection? 3, 5, 7. Doon natin siya ilalagay sa gitna kung saan nag-overlap sila. Okay? So, the intersection must be placed at the center of two sets. So, nandun siya sa gitna ng Venn diagram. Kung saan nag-overlap yung dalawang bilog mo. Okay. And then, ano yung elements ni A na wala kay B? We have 1 and 9. So, yun ang ilalagay natin kay A. At ang ilalagay naman natin kay B ay 2 and 11. This example also shows that these are joint sets. Okay, bakit natin siya tinawag na joint sets? Kapag meron silang common elements o yung pagkakapareho, ibig sabihin, yun joint set din ang tawag natin sa mga yun. Okay, now another example, I have set A, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Set B, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, what is the intersection of A and B? Anong meron kay A na meron kay B? Wala. So, ibig sabihin, the intersection of A and B is an empty set. Since wala silang common elements, this is an empty set. Now, how will you show it using Venn diagram? So, hindi sila magkadikit. Since wala silang common elements, hindi natin sila pagdidikitin. Okay? And this is also an example of disjoint sets. Next, union of sets. Pag sinabi nating union, the union of sets A and B, written as A union B, take note of our symbol, it looks like U is the set of all the elements that are in A or in B or in both A and B. So, pag sinabi natin union, ibig sabihin all the elements. So, we will combine all the elements na nasa A at, na na at nasa B. So, kung ano yung mga elements ni A at ni elements ni B, pagsasama-samahin lang natin siya lahat. Example, Set A, I have 1, 3, 5, 7. Set B, I have 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So, A union B or the union of A and B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, bakit hindi dalawang 1 ang nilagay ko? When we are combining or we, when we are getting the union, pag kinukuha natin yung union, without repetition ito. So, kahit na nakita mo siya kay A at kay B, since pagsasamahin naman natin siya, kahit isang 1 lang ang ilagay mo. Same as 3. So, the union of A and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So, again, pag sinabi natin union, we are combining the elements. Pag sasama-samahin lang natin siya. Okay, paano natin siya ipapakita using Venn diagram? So, set A and set B. So, since ang common nila ay 1 and 3, again, sabi ko kapag meron silang common elements, Ilalagay natin siya sa gitna kung saan nag-overlap. So, si 1 and 3 ang common elements nila. Anong meron kay A na wala kay B? That is 1, ah uh, no, that is 5 and 7. And then for B, we have 2 and 4. So, regardless of, siguro iniisip natin, ay intersection to, no. Ang concern naman natin dito ay, we will just combine all the elements. Pero, pag pinakita mo siya using Venn diagram, Dapat, ma maipakita mo na nag-overlap siya o meron siyang intersection kasi based sa given, meron silang parehong elements. So, pero, since ang tinatanong ay union, we will just combine all the elements. Okay, let's try. So, A, A set A, we have 1, 3, 5, 7. Set B, we have 2, 3, 5, 7. Set C, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. And D, we have 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I have here the intersection of set A and B. So, kukunin natin kung, uh, yung, kung anong meron kay A at meron kay B. Ano yung pagkakapareho nila? Pareho silang may... 3, 5, 7. So, again, pag sinabing intersection, kukunin mo kung ano yung common elements. So, therefore, the intersection of A and B is 3, 5, 7. Next, the union of set A and B. So, pag sinabing union, we will just combine all the elements. So, pag sasamahin lang natin lahat ng laman ni A at ni B. So, ano-ano ba yung mga laman ni A at B? The union of set A and B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5, and 7. So, we will just combine all the elements since our symbol here is union. Next, A, intersection C or the intersection of A and C. So, again, intersection ito. So, ano yung meron kay A na meron kay C? Pareho ba silang, meron ba silang parehong elements? Tingnan nga natin. So, si A, merong 1, 3, 5, 7. Si C, meron siyang 2, 4, 6, 8. Since wala silang common elements, therefore, the answer is an empty set. Kasi wala silang common elements. Next, number 4, the intersection of set C and D. So, etong dalawa, kunin natin kung anong meron kay C na meron kay D. So, pareho silang may 2 and 4. So, therefore, the intersection of set C and D is equal to 2 and 4. And then, number 5, the union of set B and D is equal to we will just combine all the elements. So, set B, we have 2, 3, 5, 7. Set D, we have 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, the answer is 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. We will just combine all the elements. Okay, next operation is we have the complement of a set. Pag sinabi natin complement of a set, the complement of a set a, written as A, kung mapapansin nyo, para siyang merong apostrophe. Ayan. So, the complement of A. This is the set of all elements in the universal set that are not in A. 
So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng complement? Pag sin sinabing complement of set A, ano-ano raw yung wala sa A na meron sa universal set? Okay? So, in short, kay kakailanganin natin dito ng universal set. Pag sinabing universal set, siya yung kabuuan. Okay? So, kapag tinanong what is the complement of set A, ano yung wala sa set A pero nasa universal set? Example, the universal set, so ang universal set natin, ang symbol niya, para siyang union. Pero depende sa gamit. Kung ganito ang, sa ganitong paraan siya sinulat, ibig sabihin, this is universal set. Pero kung in between siya ng dalawang set, that is an union. Okay? So, the universal set, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, set A, we have 2, 4. B, we have 2, 3, 4. C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then D, we have an empty set. Alright. So, the complement of set A. So, again, pag sinabi natin complement, wala siya sa set A pero nasa universal set. Okay, the complement of set A. Balikan nyo yung set A. Ang laman niya ay 2 and 4. Ano yung wala sa set A pero nasa universal set? Meron, ano ang wala sa kanya? Wala siyang 1, 3, and 5. So, that is the complement. Next, complement of set B. Pag sinabi natin complement of set B, balikan nyo yung B. Meron siyang 2, 3, 4. So, ano ang wala kay B pero nasa universal set? Wala siyang 1 and 5. Okay, next. Complement of set C. Balikan si set C. Meron siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, meron bang wala sa set C pero nasa universal set? Wala na, ba? Kasi kompleto siya. Meron siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin dito ay empty set. Wala nang kulang. Okay? And then next, set D. Ang set D natin ay empty set. Therefore, kapag tinanong, what is the complement of set D? Ano yung wala kay set D pero nasa universal set? So, wala siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lahat wala sa kanya. So, yun ang complement niya. Okay. Now, paano natin ipapakita ito using Venn Diagram? So, ang complement ni set A ay 1, 3, 5. Ibig sabihin, ang laman lang ni set A mo ay 2 and 4. So, yun lang yung nasa bilog. Yung 1, 3, 5, ito yung nasa universal set pero wala sa set A. So, therefore, pinapakita natin dito sa Venn diagram na nasa universal set si 1, 3, 5. Pero si 2 and 4, yun lang yung nasa set A. Okay, next. For complement of set B, paano natin siya ipapakita? So, ibig sabihin, yung 1 and 5, yun yung nasa universal set. Siya yung nasa labas. And then, si B, 2, 3, 4, yun lang yung laman ni set B. Next, complement of set C, empty set. So, ibig sabihin, yung nasa labas, walang, wala siya. So, si set C natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ibig sabihin, kompleto siya dun sa bilog. Next, set D. Empty set. So, kapag pinakita mo siya, walang laman si set D. Pero, nasa universal set si 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, let's move on to the difference of two sets. Okay, pag sinabing difference, ang ibig sabihin naman nito, kung ano yung nasa set na to, tatanggalin mo siya dun sa babawasan mo. Halimbawa, A minus B. Kung ano yung mga elements ni B na na kay A, tatanggalin natin siya. From the word difference. So, magbabawas tayo. Take away. Okay? So, A minus B. Ano yung mga elements ni B na meron kay A? Pareho silang may 2 and 5. So, tatanggalin na natin yon. So, ano na lang matitira kay A? 
ang natira na lang ay 1 and 4. Okay, next. B minus A. Ano naman yung mga elements ni A na meron kay B? So, ganun pa rin. Pareho silang may, ang elements ni A na meron kay B ay 2 and 5. So, therefore, ano na lang natira kay B? It's 3. Okay? So, ang palatandaan nito, kung ano yung first letter, kung ano yung nandito sa unahan, dun ka titingin kung ano yung natira na elements. Next, number 3. A minus C. So, ano yung mga elements ni C na na kay A? Tingnan natin. So, yung elements ni C na meron din kay A ay 1 and 5. So, therefore, ano na lang ang natira kay A? Ang natira na lang ay 2 and 4. And then, number 4, C minus D. Ano yung elements ni D na meron kay C? So, meron si C na 5. Okay? So, ang natira na lang kay C ay 1 and 3. And then, number 5, D minus A. Ano yung mga elements ni A na meron kay D? So, pareho siyang may 2, 4, 5. So, tatanggalin natin yon Therefore, ano na lang natira kay D? Wala na. So, ibig sabihin, that is an empty set. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!